Tommy. <laughs> Tommy's Revenge. Get that one right. A long time ago in a land far away where we did a video together, didn't we? Yeah, we certainly did. And you felt like you were under the microscope. Yeah, I was under a bit of pressure. So you've now, you were now flipping it. 100%. You're up in my neck of the woods. I'll take you on a nice little journey and we'll see how good your driving is today. Okay, so a little disclaimer here. I'm really tired. And I want you to understand this, Tommy. Hold on, go on, let's hear it. I don't know the area, I've never driven here before. Tommy had driven in Hendon. He said he hadn't, but he had, right? He lied. So I've never driven in this area before. This is, this is all relatively new to me, so that's fine. Uh, do you want to give me the spiel then? Hey, the what, the who? The spiel, the, the mock test spiel. Oh, do we need to Did go you think that you that? were going to be, yeah. yeah? We've just done a nice little intro, Roland. So yeah. I just follow the road ahead. But I am, um, yeah, follow the road ahead at all times, unless I tell you to turn left or turn right. If I do, I'll tell you in good You've time. You've got a bit of DGN going on here. Is that what he does? <laughs> don't, don't say that. Should we do DGN? No, listen, I love DGN. I watched DGN for his mock tests. His mock tests are amazing. Uh, I've learned a lot from him. Does that, is that what he But does? I definitely think he's thinking about a career in politics at the end of this. I mean, it definitely looks like he's going somewhere with that. How was your drive here? I thought it was banging. Oh, God, I wish it was recording. I could have failed you straight away. I think it was amazing. <laughs> no, generally, I, it was shocking. But <laughs> Weather, weather's not great either. I'm here. I keep calling him Tommy, but this is Richard Thompson. If you want to find him on Instagram, look up Pass with RPT. I'm going to put a link here so that you can find him. At any of you that are doing driving lessons in Northwest London, he's absolutely fantastic. So when we see you next, we'll be starting the video. <laughs> how many faults did I make? What, that I put on the film? How many or? faults did I make that the viewers have seen? You did. Was I'll it? tell you, it was free. <laughs> I'll was tell it you, it was, it was two, it was three, it? no. Uh, another little disclaimer, <laughs> I drive diesel. This is petrol. How many disclaimers did I do in your I video? I want loads of disclaimers, mate. I'm allowed to have disclaimers, that's the way it is. All right, so we're gonna drive on when you're ready. And we are going to turn right coming out of here, please, Roland. And this has a gate there. No, there's no gate there. One, two, three, four, five, and... Is that six, Tommy? Good lad. Six. I'm not gonna signal. No, not for anyone maybe sitting in their cars. No, they can see me moving off, can't they? Okay. So where am I going here? So we're going right here, Roland. See those, see those mirrors, Tommy? <laughs> You're impressed with that, aren't you? <laughs> Better than the way here. I'm actually starting to get nervous now. <laughs> do I? You don't like that revy revyness, do you? No, I'm just getting my foot ready. <laughs> oh. Now I've entered this road here, right? And this road is... Is that an examiner? Yeah, actually, no, it's not. End of the road, turn right for me, please. Now, I've got no other information to tell me what the speed limit is in this road, but I'm gonna assume it's 30, because there's no signage. Mm -hmm. If it is a 20, where am I going through? Right. If I stop talking, I'll actually do things. Oh, look, he's gonna put down a little fault there. <laughs> now, from a risk management perspective, Tommy, was there anyone behind us? What is this guy doing? No, at that time there wasn't. Is he allowed to do this, Tommy? Stop Definitely not. Stop calling you Tommy, Richard. Richard, 100% uh, not. I'm calling you Tommy, I can't help you it. You can call me Tommy. The thing is, everyone else, if the channel gets big, they'll be like, it's Tommy. It's Tommy. <laughs> You'll be hating that. He's letting me go. Thank you very much, man. That's very nice. I'm going to give him a nod. Just say thank you very much. I'll give him a nod, so he's got a double nod. He's got a double nod? Yeah. So I've entered this road here. And again, I'm going to assume it's 30 because I haven't seen any signage to say that it's changed. Good. Do you like that? I do like that. Although I'm doing about 20 miles an hour because I'm going through these parked cars. I've also got speed humps, which are traffic calming measures, which ultimately mean, regardless of actually you have to go slow when you go over them, they mean go slow throughout, not speed up in between, right? Mm -hmm. I always say it's a limit, not a target. You've got to assess what's on the road before you think about getting to that speed limit. Roundabout, you're gonna go straight ahead, second exit. Can I go right round this roundabout? Why, why do you need to go right and I've just told you straight ahead, second exit? Because my driving in France is my biggest, <laughs> it's my biggest video. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not anymore. I'm gonna stay nice and wide, look I at that. I like that position, I, like I was waiting position. for that. Although there's technically no lanes there. So, if there's somebody behind me, really close, 
and I cut across, that would be risky. I'm checking my mirrors to me, there's no one behind. Ooh, okay. Let's go back so to one, I'll go back to staying Take two. the next right for me, please. Here? Yes. That bus did really well to get around there without hitting that curb. Well done, mate. That's a good way, nine. You can't see it? Not really. What about the sign? Well, I'm also, I can see that I'm emerging into a road. So if you don't, if you can't see the sign, or you miss the sign, or you don't have giveaway, or you miss, you can't see the giveaway line, you can always tell if you're emerging, right? Mm -hmm. Kill your speed. It's killed. <laughs> Done. <laughs> R.I.P. You just <laughs> uh, I did. You, <laughs> you make me laugh. Do you know I've had <laughs> learners go to go that way? You've had Not, learners go that uh, way. Yeah. Can I go that way? Go that way if you want me to use the dual pedals. I'd be more than happy to. Testing your reflexes. Are you still questioning this speed limit? Nah, it's 30. I'm used to central London where everything is 20. End of the road, turn left for me. End of the road, turn left, yeah. Do you like that? Why did you do that face for the mirrors? Are you angry with them? You, the car's braking for me. I can feel it. He's just slowing down. No, it's braking. Did you know that your car does that? It just slows down. I don't feel like it's braking. No, it's braking. What the hell is that? This is lovely, isn't it, Tommy? Is this where you, this is where you, um, do you live around here as well? I definitely do live around here, Roland. Do you know all the best places? This little one litre's not really got any power, is it? <laughs> do you want to put the sports mode on? We could do. Go for it. Kind of. It's a car coming. Was you tempted there? I thought about it for a second. I gave myself the option. My foot was ready. Mini roundabout, turn right for me, please. Mini roundabout, turn right. Where's the mini roundabout? Pedestrian priority, off a roundabout. She's not going that way. This guy is definitely waiting for me. Make sure of that. Nice pickup. You like the new road, new mirrors there, Tommy? I did like the new road, new mirrors. Speed limit? I have no idea, mate. <laughs> Are you serious? It's 20. <laughs> See, you, I, I'm, I'm do you know your first I'm, thing I'm, there? I'm, I'm looking for the Was 20 to look at my car and hopefully it was gonna no. tell you. No, I looked at my speed. Take the next right for me. So, as I enter this road here, I'm in a 20 zone here, pedestrian hey. priority. This is a good example of when it is safe. However, she is backed away. She does not want to cross, and therefore I'm going to turn. Do you think that's why I asked you to turn right there? Is it? <laughs> yeah, a million percent. <laughs> That's a good one. See, pedestrian priority, so you know what? Giving an example of pedestrian priority, that's exactly the moment for me where the rule makes sense. End of the road, turn left for me. End of the road, turn left. I like the way you repeat every route direction I give you. Mirrors are good. Why do you like that? See. Why did I like what? Because you're reminding yourself. I've got quite a few people to do it. It's actually the start of your commentary drive. If I was commentary driving, I'd be saying that out loud, just so I know exactly where I'm going here. So, I've got a parked vehicle here. Now, I could potentially go around that and sit in front of it. Mm -hmm. but no one behind me at the moment. The van's gonna move off, but I would have been really close to the van. Wouldn't have been able to get my tires on tarmac. Could these lights change? I'm going Possibly. into a 30 zone, 30-20. 30, 20, 20 that way. That's very confusing, isn't it, Tommy? So it says 30, and then straight in front, you've got 20. So if we're going straight but, but ahead. But on our side of the road, mm -hmm. there was 20, 20 on the other side. But this side of the road, there was a 30 sign and a 20 sign. Oh, so it was the same when we was coming up here and I was showing you the opposite yeah. way. So does that mean 20 when I turn left, 30 if I turn right? Yep. Is that what it means? Yeah. Is that how it should be set up? Do you think the council have done that properly? Before, it used to be 30-30, and they've changed it recently.
but shouldn't it be after you turn you have the sign it would just make much more sense 100 i'm just loving your mirror work right now yeah, i'm trying to catch you with something slalom you do. Yeah, i mean you already you already got me on something haven't you yeah just one little thing at the start but i want a bit more give it time Tom. Give emergency it time. stop <laughs> give it time right i didn't see us yes i did you didn't see a what a sign what's the speed limit the van was blocking the sign it's 50. good lad I am in gear four, it's asking me for gear six. The car's braking naturally for me. I'm just gonna come off the gas a second, just because I don't know what the hell's going on up here. So we've got a roundabout up here, Tommy, yeah? Tommy? Yeah. All right, where am I going? We are going to go right, and it's the fourth exit, but have a look at that road sign up there, yeah? So I've moved so into the right lane because because I'm, I've just done a video on this on the apex corner. So my plan as the approach will be to move into the right. I've heard right, mm -hmm. so I'm thinking right before I get any closer. I don't know what's going to happen as I get up there. And then now, as you've just said, reading the road sign. So we're going. We're to, going towards Garston. So we're going to the M1. Why are you getting excited? We're not going to the M1. I'm going to pull you straight off of it. <laughs> Why? I think it would be good for people to see. Wow, did you see that? Did you just see what happened in front of us? What exit was it? Right fourth. Good lad. I think. Did you check your mirrors before that signal? Well, you're not watching me, Tommy. I, I've looked at you. I think you looked away just as I did it. Oh, uh, okay. It well, happens, it happens. Okay, so one, although we'll see it in the video, won't we? You can, definitely you can will. tell if I'm lying. One, now. I've gone across that line, closed my gap there slightly, although he's moved off. Two. You said fourth, yeah? Yeah. That's not an exit. That is an exit. That's barely an exit. I'm checking my mirrors as I come across there. It's safe for me to do it. But Tommy thinks it's a fault. No, 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 you've done well. When I teach that up here, that's a lane change, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we have to do a lane change, but I do it just early. at that second set of traffic lights. Do you know what? I didn't count that as an exit. And you're absolutely right. It is an exit. It's marked on the, the board as well. That's why I always say to have a check of it. Because I used to say right third exit. Do you know your car still says it's 50? That's why I don't rely on this technology. You never rely. Uh, the cars that actually have the camera that's linked to GPS, you can trust. So I've got a cyclist here. Now the new highway code rule, she's in a cycle lane, but I need to give her a meter and a half of space. And I've got a clear road in front of me. I could pass her, but that won't be a meter and a half of space. And so therefore I'm considering the risk to the cyclist to be more important. And if anything, I'm a shield. Now I'm gonna move a little bit closer to this line here because I think I can give her about a meter and a half and I go past her. Mini roundabout turn left. wants me on mirrors, don't you? You want me on mirrors. Give me that one for earlier. No, because you might check the video and you might have checked it, but when I was looking at you, I didn't see the, the mirrors just before. You did, yeah? I'll take your word for it. I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Speed limit on this road. 20. Okay. Even though your car says, oh no, now it says 20. So yeah, that roundabout, I feel like is that one of the nasty ones around here? No, but I just feel like local knowledge sometimes is really important. This is not necessarily a Watford test route, is it? I think you're taking me on all the sort It's of sort of, yeah, it's mix and match. So I'm trying to take you on all the tricky little bits. So we're going to go left at the end of the road. And it's quite tricky. Just follow the road straight ahead. Still says 20 here. And you've got your repeater signs, but I'm sure you see them. You see, I'm happy when I get repeater signs. What I don't like is when they tell you the entrance and the exit. Yeah. Because you're halfway down. If it was a word picture, if I took a picture of that, where am I going? Following the road ahead. Straight ahead. You see this bit here, yeah? Mm -hmm. When you've got this on sat nav for a test route. It doesn't say anything. It doesn't say anything. And because people are solely relying on the sat nav, right. they will just keep going straight. That's a good point. I've right? dual pedaled people a lot at that junction. They miss it so much. So, <laughs> pull up on the left in a safe place. 
I'm not going to signal, Tommy. You're not going to signal. No, do you teach your pupils how to signal? Yeah. You do, if no one's behind them. What about parked cars? Do you not? <laughs> do you think I was looking there. Yeah, that was a bit close. What about parked cars? What do you mean? Do you not worry if someone's inside their car and they're going to pull out same time you're I about to I can look in the cars. I can see there's nobody there. You're super observant. Okay, so when it comes to the the um, when it comes to the signal thing, what I'm teaching is it's about the observation more than anything else. You're actually teaching observation first above the signal. So the signal is yes, you could be, you could go on autopilot and you could put your signal on every single time, but then you're not actually thinking. Are you actually looking? So I checked, nothing in front of me, nothing behind me, had a quick look at those cars, I didn't see anything in there. Is it possible there could be somebody in the car? I didn't see anybody. I just always teach a signal. If there's parked cars, I'll just always say to signal. So, end of the road turn, right? <laughs> I wasn't listening. <laughs> Again, your car is braking. So here is a perfect example of pedestrian priority. There's absolutely no problem in this whatsoever. And I'd be teaching this anyway. You allow people to cross, you're coming to a mouth of a giant. I've got nothing behind me. And again, see, I'm chatting. I don't know what the speed limit is. So, take the next left, and then you'll be taking the next right. I'm choosing so, 20, and I'll tell you what, I think I can get away with it because park cars. So it was 30. Where am I going? We're going to go left here. Now, you've got to decide, Tommy, whether you think my speed, because missing the speed limit sign is not a fault. You've got to decide whether you think my speed was too slow. And right here. Right here? Yeah. Now, this is fun. Look at him, he's enjoying this. So now, what I'm doing here, I'm at a, a, on a dual carriageway turning right. Now, I've assessed the middle of the road, and the middle of that road is big enough. What the hell is going on here? It was big enough for me. Now, I've got to get going. Hey, it's still slower than mine. And now I'm going to move back to the left. So I've concentrated there. Am I following the road ahead here? Straight ahead, yeah. I concentrated, I wasn't concerned about coming immediately back to the left there because I was more concerned about the fact that I'm on a dual carriageway. Again, the car is braking for me. Now the speed limit's dropping to 40. I'm gonna keep good road position because I know Tommy wants that. Yeah, that's superb. I'm not sure I needed a signal there, but I put it on anyway. At the roundabout, I'm gonna follow the road ahead. This is a roundabout, no. what the hell is Did this? Did you see the shape of that junction? So you have to treat that first bit like a roundabout and give way to what's on your right-hand side. Those, that is a roundabout as well, isn't it? It's, it's a very weird, when you look back at it on the video, it's a weird junction. It's not a roundabout? Not. Yeah, see, look, it's, I can see on there, it's charging the battery. It charges when you brake, but... But that's the car braking for me. So at the second set of traffic lights, you're going to be turning right. Second set, how far second ahead is set. that? Second set, so that's the first one. I'd say roughly around 400 yards. 400 yards. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's nothing coming up behind me. I'm concerned these lights might change, more importantly than my lane change, first of all. So because there's nothing behind me, I'm not rushed in thinking about trying to get across, do a little shoulder glance as well, and then mirror, mirror, signal. So I've broken my signal down twice, Good. just in case, there's no one behind me, but just so if there was, they would know that I was doing two lane changes. Roundabout. <laughs> Barely visible. Visible by sign. No one there. But super important, you checked to that right hand side. If you didn't check there, yeah? If my head didn't physically turn. Yeah. Even if there was nothing there, how would you mark that on like a mock test? I've done it before and for me, I've, <laughs> I've fell people if they don't have a check to that right hand side. It's that thing of pushing the standard up, right? It, it all comes down to risk. Cause you, you, I can see it on the approach. Mm -hmm. My eyes could have done that. I mean, if I'm, if I'm working, look, you, you, I've seen examiners fail people for that. Yeah. And this is the thing, it comes down to judgment. So we teach you to a high standard because on the day, if your standard is not high enough, yeah. it's gonna dip obviously too low and you, you're gonna make a mistake, that's pretty obvious. But it's your judgment call is all part of this. I need to pick up my speed here. I'll give myself a progress fault for that. I think he's going to do it, no. <laughs> no, 
forward. I'm talking. I just want you to know, Tommy. Yes. <laughs> You are a legend. Traffic lights, turn right for me. So we've got an unmarked crossroads in front of us. And I would have to decide about offside to offside or nearside to nearside. Now looking at this, I've got a... I don't know what the hell car that is coming up next to us. So I've got a car come up here. All three mirrors as I move off. I'm going to let this big guy go. I'm going to move into the junction nice and slowly, encouraging that person. In fact, that guy was pretty clear that he wanted to go offside to offside. 100%. And I let him, I let him take the decision. He was moving much, much quicker than me. I'm going to get this car moving. We're going to take the next left. The next road on the left, yeah? Yep. Now this is the one, is this the one? No. Are you taking me to this one or not? I want to see it. Do you want to see it? Can I have a copy of that video where the police van smashes into it? Yeah, there was an accident there this morning actually. End right. of the road left, yeah? So this notorious width restriction it's is coming. here, and I've brought you to a really bad angle to get through it. Okay. Because you can come along this road. Do here. they do this on test? There is actually a test route that does it. Now, I've just had a look at that, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> I've just had a look at that. Ooh. Right. Here we go. I'm coming round. Can I go through at speed? If you go through too fast, I will touch the brake. Now... Seriously, what is this? This is what I would consider to be oh, ridiculous. But why is that necessary? And do you know how many test routes use this? In Watford? In Watford. Uh, that not makes me nervous, but I'm concerned. It's not right? easy to get through. I'm concerned, I'm not even looking at the camera, I'm looking at the wrong camera, I'm so used to my camera being here. So it's gone amber, but I've already crossed the line, so I've gone through. Make sure I can clear. Now, am I following the road ahead here now? Following the road ahead. So I'm gonna go for an overtake here, because this line of driver's not making progress, which is not really their fault. Now they are, they pick up their speed as I'm coming past. I wanna get up to 50. That car is now visible in my rear view mirror. I'm just following the road ahead here. Good, yep, follow the road ahead. Got a funny gearbox. It's a sportsman. Is it? Yeah. So I need to pick up my speed now. It's national speed limit. There's a van coming up on my right hand side. And we've got a roundabout at the end of this. We're gonna be turning right third exit. And I've got a junction here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just move across. That looks like a slip road to me. Bit of planning. Where are we going? Sorry, we're going right third exit. So I was changing lanes because of the slip road. Good. That's for so you. So it wasn't actually for the right at the roundabout. It would have been if I'd have known 100% where I was going. I didn't, wasn't paying attention. So right third exit. One, two. Straight past this one here. Mirror, mirror, signal. And then you're going to take the next right and the immediate right after that. I've got a little filter box here. And the immediate right. Oh, here? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, you did say that, didn't you? End of the road, go left. There should be bays on the left-hand side will pull up and discuss all your faults. Can I just go forwards into a bay, like you end of do test? Or do you, anything do I need to like. be in the lines, Tommy? I'd like you to finish in the lines, yeah. Really? Why not? You didn't say that. I didn't plan for that. He did. How was that? Switch it off. You can turn it off. How was that? Easy. It's an interesting area. Tricky. Now you done well. How many faults do you think you got without trying to look at my little board there? What would you, how well, would you score I know your own I goal? Gave, I gave you three, so you're giving me a minimum. Of no. <laughs> Listen, I, I was trying to get you with some more. I probably. Okay, so where would I have faulted? Um, I would have probably done one for progress. Mm -hmm. I think you nailed me for that got one. Got that one. There's one you're going to check on the video. Signal time, maybe? Yeah, 100%. First junction, straight away. This right simple. at the beginning? Yeah. I mean, it didn't hurt anybody there, did it? Oh, but still, I want it's to not like what your not... standard is up here, so I expected. It, it, yeah, no, but we're talking about risk. Like, at that speed, is it going to hurt anybody? On test, on test, you want to be making sure that you're timing your signals well. You need to be demonstrating to the examiner that you do know the timing of your signal. And Tommy's 100% right. I mean, if, if the signal is late, 
we, you've got to be pushed to a high standard. And again, we'll look at it back in the video. The speed I'm traveling with what's going on around, would it have hurt anybody? Probably not. But completely valid to put it down as a fault. Anything else? This one, you're probably going to be able to get away with it. Tires and tarmac on that roundabout, the dome roundabout, the one where we was doing the fourth exit. Oh, when I went through? When you went Got through. a little bit close. A little bit close, but then the car moved away straight away, so it might have given you a little bit of a lifeline. But I thought I'd put it down. Just so you got three folks. <laughs> <laughs> but you so dealt with is, that roundabout. What is tires on tarmac for? So, couple of reasons. If the car in front rolls back, if you're on a hill, that's definitely one of the reasons. Another reason could be if you was shunted from behind, you're not then gonna go too far forward. And even convenience, if that car in front breaks down and you've got that nice gap, you can get out straight away. If you've got an emergency vehicle coming, right? Yeah. You need an escape route, so an escape route, absolutely valid. If that's a fault, it's a fault. You've done well. That roundabout, I thought, would catch you because of the exit, and I knew you wouldn't know to move lanes, but you've done it really well. Good your experience, yeah. Done now, well. I've done a video on Apex Corner, which is actually a spiral roundabout. These roundabouts are not spiral roundabouts by the looks of them. A lot, in fact, a lot of the roundabouts around here are not. Mm -hmm. You've got to learn to lane change. You've got to lane change on the move. So I talk about, a lot about trying not to lane change. These roundabouts, you have to. You have to, yeah. Uh, so definitely some good videos you could do up here, Tommy. So uh, that is it, guys. That is the end of this video. So um, I've been on test. I've been under the microscope. Hopefully this is, you got some value out of this video. Also, if you're doing a test up in Watford, this video is, is going to highlight some of the most tricky things you're going to deal with. And what was the name of that road again? Woodmere Avenue. Woodmere Avenue. Go and check that out because that is hairy. That's pretty horrible. <laughs> if you like what you've seen here, hit that like button. I think I say this at the end of every video. Hit that like button, subscribe, and then you'll know when the next video is coming out. See you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Get wheel out. I can't reach it. Get wheel. <laughs> <Ta -da. out. laughs>